We're at the Fly Tackle Dealer Show in Denver, September 2010, and I'm here with Ted Jurassic with Tibor Reels. Everybody's saying the hot thing at the show this year is this new reel. Ted, can you tell us about it? Sure can. All right. uh, this has been a, my, my project for the last couple of years, and I've been trying to build a reel, but very, very few parts and try to make it also a, a seal drag system. Seems like everybody wanted it. A lot of people fishing in a surf, a lot of fly casters, and they don't want the sand to get into their reel. So I went ahead and start working on it. And after two years, I come up with something. I would like to show you guys what I got. All right. The first thing, what you're going to notice on this reel, which is very important, you got the drag back all the way. And if you try to take the, the fly line out of your uh, reel to strip some line out to start casting, you could see you could never ever... No backlash. Backlash on here. So you're Beautiful. not going to have any problem. With lines on the floor, the reel backlash, and you got to start to cut the backlash. Right. Uh, this is a uh, quick change reel. And the way that works, you just take this knob, and then the spool comes off. Now you could see this knob will never, you never lose it because uh -huh. the way it's made, it just can't come off. Excellent. Of now I'm going to show you how little parts in this reel because uh, the less parts you put in a reel, uh, the less problem you're going to have it on a field. So what we try to do, what I try to do, is make a reel with hardly any parts. So let me just show you the inside of this reel. This is the drag knob. We take the drag knob off. We take this whole hub system right out and if you could see it's hardly any parts in the reel. Wow. Now I gotta tell you how this thing work. I, I need to put my glasses on so I can mm -hmm. see okay. If you uh, if you look at the inside of this reel we have three pins in here spring-loaded pins. What these pins do this is what's gonna hold the main gear so the drag could take over when a fish love the fish runs with the uh, uh, line then these three pins hold this main gear. But it's also, this is where you change this reel to left hand to right hand. So very simply what you do, you want to change it to left to right hand, take a small screwdriver, you push that on this pin, turn it 180 degrees, you let it up, the pin comes back up, you do it to all three pins, and now it's a left hand wind or a right hand Wow, wind. that is great. You don't have to take nothing apart, you don't gonna lose, you lose little screws or little springs, it's very easily be changed. If you take this whole hub assembly, this is the main gear, this is a cork drag, I believe cork is the best drag material. We put grease on it, this is the seal, we put grease on the inside of the hub, we put back the gear, the seal is always lubricated. If you're an average fisherman, you don't have to take this reel apart to lubricate it or add grease to it for at least in between 10 and 15 years. Nice. And if you can't stand it, you send it to the factory and we just go over it. If any bad parts or any worn parts, we replace it for free as a lifetime warranty. Fantastic. So I'm sure, I'm sure uh, you're going to have lots and lots of trouble free fishing trip if you uh, uh, purchase one of these reels. Well, Ted, thank you so much. It's a real honor to uh, have you tell us about this, and congratulations on your anniversary. Well, thank you very much. All right.